right, Nathan, here's a question we've often pondered in the wilds of Colorado. What's the best off-road worthy, family friendly vehicle you can buy today? And the answer, of course, is the car behind me, the brand new 2012 Land Rover LR4, bar none. Uh, yeah, except for mine, which is the 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee 4x4 Limited. No way. Roman thinks this is the best vehicle. I don't, and I'll tell you why. Because I think that the construction quality isn't so great. There's a couple flaws. For one thing, if you reach back here and open up any of these little drawers and feel inside, the plastic's rough and sharp. It shouldn't be, this is a Rover. Worst yet, come here. Land Rover, Land Rover. Plastic from a Tinker toy, really? I love this Jeep, don't get me wrong, but there's a big thing missing on it. Right here, there's no badge that says trail rated. Not all Jeeps are built alike. Yeah, that's true. This is only five passenger, and Jeep isn't indicating whether or not they're going to make a seven passenger version. A long time ago, boys and girls, real engines didn't look like this. Come here. They look like, well, kind of like that. Really hate these plastic covers, don't you? Check that out. That is adjustable air suspension. Look at that, I get a bunch more clearance when I need it, when the going gets rough. Now that is a cool party trick. You know, Nathan, these vehicles are remarkably similar, especially in the engine bay. I've got a five liter V8 that puts out 375 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque. How about that little thing of yours? Little thing, 5.7 liter Hemi, bitch! And you know what? It puts out 360 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. <laughs> Which means it can tow how much? Uh, about 7,400 pounds. 7,700, take that. Uh, but my vehicle weighs uh, about 1,000 pounds less than yours. Yeah, but mine seats seven. Okay, but mine gets better gas mileage at 14 miles per gallon combined. Ooh, mine gets 13. <laughs> That's still pretty pathetic for both. Yeah, 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 this will not win the Green Car of the Year award by any means. No. incredibly capable off-road vehicles, how are we going to test them? Well, the best thing we can do, at least with our little limited brains, take them off-road. And our big asses. And our big asses. <laughs> Yo, Nathan, you know where the word Jeep comes from? Enlighten me. Well, the story goes that there was a cartoon character during the Second World War whose name was Jeep, and that's where the soldiers named this vehicle. And yes, to me, this is cartoonish, dude. Oh, come on. First of all, it was Eugene the Jeep from Popeye, and he could go anywhere, which this one nearly can. Okay, it's not the trail rated one, but you know what? For a majority of people out there, and, and realistically, you don't need every single feature that the full-blown version has. This thing off-roads beautifully as is. That, my friends, is selectable off-road terrain management. In other words, the computer determines the best possible everything for being in the dirt, and in this case, being in the woods. Practically what that means is it raises the car up on the air suspension, gives me a lot more ground clearance, and of course, the Land Rover has phenomenal approach and departure angles, so I feel like I can tackle anything that Colorado has to throw at me. Yeah, I know, I know, $17,000, that's a lot more money to pay for basically a very similar vehicle, but, but you do get that Land Rover cachet, you get a much nicer interior, and you get that British smell, which this doesn't smell so good. Oh, come on. All right, you know what? I can't argue that the Rover is um, luxurious, because it is. Land Rover builds a beautiful vehicle. Wonderful, great. But you know what? This Jeep, I could drive every single day and not be ashamed of. And you gotta admit, these seats are really comfortable and this interior is beautifully made. 
And to be fair, the smell in here, well, that's from a spoiled baby bottle that Nathan <laughs> yeah, You leave milk in here too long, it could be a bad thing. Especially when it's 100 degrees like it is today. <laughs> I think Nathan will even admit to this, uh, $17,000, but a much smoother off-road ride. Okay, the Jeep is good, this is better off-road, when it comes to ride. What Nathan doesn't have is this cool display, which tells me what the front wheels are doing, what differentials are locked, and basically, even shows you when I turn the wheels so that I can place these wheels at the exact position that I need them to, because the worst thing you want to do is get high centered, so this allows me to go right over rocks instead of going over them with the belly getting caught on the rock. All right guys, don't send us angry emails. We know that these aren't direct competitors. The Land Rover probably more closely competes with the Mercedes ML. And this would probably more closely uh, go against the Toyota 4Runner. But they're remarkably similar and they're both fun to take off road. And they're both luxurious and they both will pamper your family. All right guys, obviously we went mild to medium off-road. We didn't do any boulder bashing, but this one's not trail rated, and while this one could do it, it wouldn't be fair. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what we wanted to do is take them onto some dirt trails to make sure that we were comfortable if we put our families in there, you know, going camping or fishing or something like that. The stuff most of our viewers would do. So, which one's better, Nathan? Okay, I'll admit it, that Rover is amazing. Land Rover builds a hell of a vehicle. However, I win in one way. No, get out, what? My front seats are heated and cooled. Okay. Victorious! <laughs> All right, your front seats are cool. Mine are only heated. But, as you can tell, I've got a lot more articulation. Yeah, he's got a lot more bang for his buck, I think. Just by a little bit. So, you pay more? You get more. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time on the Fast Lane Car. Now, I suppose you're wondering why we didn't pick a trail rated Jeep to compare to an LR4. Well, we get these cars out of the press fleet, and unlike the big magazines, we have limited choice in vehicles, so we're happy to have cars that somewhat compete. This was really close, and keep in mind that both vehicles are considered luxury vehicles in their brackets, so we really did have very, very close vehicles, and frankly, this little guy here did pretty good. And that's why it's called a mashup.